So let's stay in the middleweight division for right now, right? right, right. We just had a big fight not too long ago with Triple G, right. uh, D Wade. Man, how, impre how impressive was Triple G to you during the fight? I mean, for what it lasted. Right? You know, I'm not gonna. I can't take anything away from the man. He's he's a machine, man. You know, and a lot of people say, you know, well, who has to beat? It's hard to beat fighters that don't want to fight you. Exactly. You know what I mean? And you know, to a casual boxing fan, to your hater, they're always gonna be like, oh, well, Golovkin hasn't fought anybody, and he hasn't fought a big name, and he has and taking over the division but the guy's a great fighter he works like a monster you know i got to help him for the rubio fight right um you know he's i can't take anything like i said he's he's a great champion hey, he, he might be getting a big fight depending on what happens in may man is that something that you want to see if, if it if all falls into place with canelo khan i mean i me personally honestly don't think it'll happen right. um but you know it would be a good fight I, I want to say I would have put my money on GGG, but uh, I guess you never know in this sport, you know what I mean? Everyone, I can't count Canelo out because he's a great fighter too. I've gotten a chance to work with him too for the, uh, what fight was it? Uh, this fight over here, Trout, when I was helping for Trout. I was helping him here as a South fine. He's a great fighter as well, you know, so, uh, I mean, the fight, it's, it's a great fight if it happens. Yeah, and, and, you know, myself included, sometimes we overlook the opponents that they have in front of him, right? right. Canelo has Amir Khan, a yeah, tough yeah. opponent, more, you know, tougher than what a lot of people give him credit for. Like, how do you see that fight playing out? And you know, it's funny that a lot of people count out Amir Khan. You know, I, I agree, you know, like a lot of people say he doesn't have a chin, and if he can't take a shot from a 140-pounder, a 147-pounder, how's he going to take one from a 154-pounder, uh, the 155-pound that Canelo uh, that Canelo's looking for? Um, you know, he has speed on his side, you know what I mean? I don't know how fast he'll show up fighting at 155, but, I mean, speed is power. You know, we've seen that in the past. Look at Manny Pacquiao, how fast he looked uh, in his recent fight. You know, he looked like a younger Manny, and that won him the fight, and clearly he, he took out Timothy Bradley. So, right, right. I mean, I guess you never know, man.